work is pleasant and you've been chosen as a reward. You are above average intelligence and behavior. You can read this plan. Patterns required are marked in different colors. I think there's some mistake. These are instructions from the council. There is never a mistake from council. I'm Dr. Rudy Schmidt. Doctor? That's my professional title. What I'm trying to point out is No that man has a title. I am a radio astronomer with a doctorate in astrophysics. Ah, the Earth man. Now I understand. Correct. And as you are supposed to be so advanced in Medusa, I'm sure you wouldn't waste my qualifications by giving me this sort of work. We'll overlook it this time. You'll learn. Watch the others. Do as they do. You'll pick up proper behavior. Didn't you hear me? Are you too conceited, too arrogant to understand? Coming from Earth is no excuse. You'll be reported. What do you think I care about your reports? You are a pack of stupid plans! We disapprove of violence. But sometimes it is necessary. I've seen these men on their own planet, madam, like lords, with no subjection to women. This man's attitude could infect our own males. Our whole culture could be threatened. You are a very good officer, Octavia. Security's in firm hands with you. Thank you, madam. But you have a tendency to exaggerate. All I ask, madam, is that the Earthmen should be kept away from our own men. Not allowed to spread his disruptive ideas and give him a lower degree of work. Request granted. Send him in. Right. Please. What's this I hear? That you've been causing trouble? What's that? She's gone. Oh, Rudy. How wonderful to see you. What have they done to you? Oh, nothing. They're being kind. But it's terrible. I feel so alone. These women, they're not like me. And it's disgraceful what they're doing to you. I've tried telling them that you're one of the most advanced scientists on Earth. Now lock in record. That they should be overjoyed to have you here, that you could help them. But they smile at me as though I were a child. I wish we could get back to Earth, Rudy. You're right to be watchful, Octavia, but we're agreed the man is to be downgraded. Mm -hmm. And what's about her? But you don't suggest we restrict a woman. Please, another moment of Grand Council's time. I didn't realize how happy I was working as your assistant until this happened. Don't worry, Liz. If only they could have stopped Fulvia from going back to Earth after Adam and Shem. They are still keeping us to exchange? Yes. Adam and Shem have escaped. They won't come back. Oh, Rudy, what will we do? Come on, Liz. We are in this together. That's the only thing. We keep our eyes open. That's what I'm hoping for. They're leaving me alone, so I can scout around. I'll see what I can work out. She has too much time on her hands. That's the answer. Find her a job. Keep her busy. Instructions from the council. You mean they're giving me a job? Oh, we all work. Run them on the viewer. You are to choose exactly what you want. And Rudy? Who? Dr. Schmidt, the man who came with me from Earth. He's been given suitable work. I want to make an inquiry. How do I get in touch with the man who came with Stand me? Stand by for an announcement. Flying crews for spaceship control. 
Your training? Spaceship control, basic principles. You took the examination. With a special pass in scientific ability. There is a question mark against one aspect of your retraining here on Medusa. Your attitude to men. You appear to treat them as equals. Liz, what's the news? Get back to work. It's me, Rudy. Out of my way, that's an order. Get these men back to their quarters. Don't they know they're not allowed to address a woman until they're spoken to? Get on with your work. Quickly, before anyone sees you. Where's she? Don't say you haven't got another blonde maniac with a whip. It was the only thing I could do. They're watching me. I see. But you might have let me know. I'm sorry. It's just that if they think I treat men as they do, there's a chance I could get into spaceship patrol. And that could take us close to Earth. Tidy this room up. What? Thank you. Attend Grand Council, urgent. <laughs> we've had another report, very favorable. And so we've decided, in view of the fact there are no other volunteers for Space Patrol, to... Councillors, another application. Octavia, your present work is far too important. Not me, madam. I have a nominee. Good, Nola. Control it smooth. Try. Now, try left hand. <laughs> if anyone laughs... May I suggest you correct your calculations? She's perfectly able. What sort of correction? She's making a point zero zero one error. Allow for it in all navigation. Well, right, try that. Zero zero one there. together. Your nominee gave a poor account of herself. The controls were faulty. The lack of mathematics stands against her. Liz is an expert. But suspect. Her attitude to men. Her past faults have been corrected. Then, why doesn't she have a servant? She? Every woman of grade A, B, or C has a servant. Well, ask her. Have you a male domestic? No. She doesn't because she thinks it would be treating a man with disrespect. Is this true? I get on better without one. Good gracious. Something's gone seriously wrong with your retraining. But your commissioning to space patrol depends on this. If you refuse the servant we allocate, then the command goes to Nola. What servant? I have one ready. Uh, no, Octavia. You're an interested party. You might want Liz to fail the test so that your nominee takes the ship. You might not choose a suitable you. But I have him here. Very fair. Council is now adjourned. Liz, take him with you.
What is he up to? He's coming over here. You'll be all right. We've examined your statement, Octavia. You say she ignores the servant we assigned to her, makes no use of him, treats him as she might a woman. Yes, madam. Is he here? Hercule? What reason could she have? She said she didn't find him attractive. Impossible. Guard, Council requests the presence of Liz in the prediction room. I don't find any men on Medusa attractive. We like your Earth men. One would have thought the opposite attraction equally potent. But we are prepared to take your word for it. For the time being. Octavia, uh, demonstrate the reality meter. Reality meter? Obviously, you have nothing like this on Earth. It's very useful. Saves a lot of wasted time and foolish illusions. What's it for? Amongst other reality tests, it measures the degree of attraction between a woman and a man. I don't believe it. You'll be convinced. Nola, you'll be my guinea pig. Come here. So, one or two adjustments. And this connection locks her into the mechanism. Watch the reading. I've got much reaction there. on the screen is interjected into the mind. You react to it as though it were your own thought. Thank you. So the machine is an extension of your mind? Exactly. Then if it affects you, you can affect it. I suppose so, theoretically. Well, it's never happened. It would take a supreme effort of will. Are you ready? Those pictures come from within oneself. Why not? There's a continual exchange between reality and the mind. The one influences the other. Now do as Octavia bids you. The usual adjustments. In your case, we are testing your reaction to Hercule. It is his image you will see. You'll find it quite enjoyable. Switch on. Now concentrate on the screen. Uh, concentrate, yes. you, you can affect it.
You, come with me. What for? You're one of the lucky ones. Lucky? You're going to be a servant to a very important woman. I'd stay where I am. You're not on Earth now, you know. Get on. Thank you, God. If this is a joke, I think it's in a very bad taste. I had to get you here any way I could. Our plan's going to work. You are getting command of a spaceship? They've tested me. Octavia can prove nothing against me. Oh, Rudy, it means we can go back to Earth. Leaving all this power and luxury behind you? I hate it. I want it to be like it was when I worked for you. All she wants is to command that ship. You must allow me to know what's best, Octavia. I do, madam, but, but these people have different values. Council has granted Liz authority to command space flight. Women on Earth have to lie and cheat to get their own way. I have given orders. Liz commands. And to show the confidence we have in her, she is to choose her own crew. A trial flight? On perimeter patrol? Yes. That takes you close to Earth. And you'll be in the crew, Rudy. Tomorrow. Halt. Clear. Go ahead. Clear. I did my best to warn you. Hurry, left. Take over the intercom. Ready for liftoff. Never thought we would make it. Stand by for liftoff. Now, how can you let her go on her own like that? It's only fair. Nola had a trial mission, didn't she? There, look. Girl has talent. Perfect table. We've done it. Hold extreme power. The sooner we are out of gravity, the better. Now look at the speed they are going. Mm, she certainly knows how to handle it. Hold it. Maximum. Open a channel. See what you can pick up from Earth. They're heading for open space. Well, you know what she's going to do. No. Tell us, Octavia. Log in on course. That's all we need. They'll be in the Earth's atmosphere any time. Oh, goodness, they were hostages. I needed them. Don't you think she ought to get a fair test? We're now circling the perimeter. Calculate a vector for the shortest way to Earth. I make it. Four, seven, eight. Good. I'll change course. Hold it. What's the matter? I'm moving out of optimum position. I must lock into the new course now. Stop! Did you think we wouldn't be prepared for everything? Of course, we're ready for any false step. Not that we suspect Liz, but just in case. They've got us on dual control. They can switch on at any time. Cut in and take over. We've just got to do one thing wrong. They've got us at the end of a string. Well, can't we do something? Can't we take a chance? Please, Rudy. No chance. we we'll just give the game away. They would navigate us back to Medusa. What can we do? Nothing this time, Liz. Later. When you have the confidence.
Course change. Back to base. Nola, salute your superior officer. 